alcoholic. He was at Pearl Harbor when Pearl Harbor was bombed. And uh, he was a good friend. His ship was right next to the Arizona. You all know what the, who the Arizona was, don't you? Mm -hmm. that, that was his ship right there. Vestal was set anchored right next to it there. He was blown like 25 yards into the water when they were attacking right there. And of course he saved a lot of lives, sailors and all that through there. Very, and his son, I guess you've all heard of the Oklahoma bomber. Yeah. His son with his son, Mark Mahalik was the uh, ATF agent that was a model rest. Okay. Right. So there's a lot of history it's back there. I forgot to tell him we were going to get the grill out and cook those beef steaks. Yeah, we can have beef steak and pork yeah. right there if you want to. I'm good, but that might be good. <laughs> <laughs> Donate it. It's probably no. still good. It's probably still good. It, you know, I've heard that as long as a can is not dented or punctured or anything like that, it stays good yeah. forever. Yeah. Now, I had sea rations when I was in the uh, service. Did you? They were from World War II. Wow. Well, that makes sense. We ate them. Probably still good. Of course, we had to use some stuff to put on top of them, like hot sauce and all that, to get them down. But, you know, <laughs> you open up a can of uh, scrambled eggs and uh, ham, yeah. and the scrambled eggs would be green. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, they're powdered. Powdered, but you had plenty of hot sauce and you could eat it. Yeah. You're just hungry enough, you could you eat it. You ain't even hot sauce on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's Tyler's favorite thing. Yeah.